Hey yo, welcome to Stock Abilities. Today I'm going to be covering Trevor Milton and his resignation. Kind of covered it in another video, and now it's looking more like he got removed potentially, but that's all speculative. And I'm going to cover that in this video, so make sure to like this video, comment below your own input on Trevor, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos just like this. But uh, essentially at this point, due to all the drama and the allegations and potential fraud claims, all that kind of fun stuff allegedly uh essentially he's more or less just been considered as a just another shareholder according to the executives he's not really uh having any authoritative uh, suggestions or moves or any association with the company at this point he's basically just the largest shareholder he has no influence on what the future of nikola will be which is promising because gersky doesn't seem all that bad of a person uh how that's going to progress into the near future kind of depends. Uh, the most recent uh, fraud allegations were basically from Hindenburg questioning a lot of things, some of which ended up being true, some of which ended up questioning just how quality of a person Nicola, Nicola's Trevor Milton is and will be in the future. And I guess ultimately he made the decision to leave or they made the decision for him. And they've kind of restructured and reshuffled things around and they're going to still, you know, potentially grow. They still have a lot of a future in the years to come. Maybe if they can pull out of this rut. I don't know if Nikola would be the best investment right now, especially with how much it's up right now. And I'll show you guys here in just a second. But uh, essentially, he's uh, no longer an employee. He's no longer a board member. And so he's just another shareholder at this point, Russell told CNBC during a phone interview. When asked about Mellon consulting with the company, which is on an ad hoc basis, according to his exit package, Russell responded, same as just another shareholder. And Gersky confirmed Milton also is not involved in any board decision. So nothing in association with the company anymore. Had some recent other allegations, you know, whether they're true, whether they're not, that is not something that they'd want associated with the company. A little bit of an iffy back history with him for some other companies and things he's been associated with, but won't get too much into that. Essentially, since his removal, investors seem to be reacti reacting very positively to his departure. Apparently, I guess the dismissal of him being associated with the company inspired investors to maybe come in a little stronger, but I feel they're kind of pumping this up a little bit too much. It was up over 28% uh, in just one day. That's kind of a ridiculous pump. They're trying to salvage the deal with GM, whether that's going to get salvaged or not. If it does not, you know, Nikola's probably not going to end up so well. This might end up becoming like an equivalent hostile takeover for the company. How that's going to work out and shake out, I guess we'll see in the time to come. Personally, I think this is more of a day trade, maybe a mini swing trade. But in regards to holding it long term, I don't think that's the best idea. You know, when you get movements like this on a day to day basis, you know, it was up nearly twenty six dollars to nearly twenty six, twenty seven dollars a share in just one day. You know, and it's been kind of on a tear since that day. So on Wednesday, it closed around twenty ish, ran up to twenty eight. That's a very big move for a company like this but on you know on its year to date charts still not looking the best whether it's a good idea to get into for nicola i would say no i would say you're chasing kind of a little bit of an escape hatch here it's still although it's up a lot it feels more like a dead cat bounce than it is you know bullish for a long-term sentiment this is, of course, my opinion. You know, you never know what might happen. I have no holdings in Nikola. I never will have holdings in Nikola. There is a lot better, more stable companies that have proved their reputation. This is more of a speculative EV play. Uh, you know, companies like Tesla and things like that. I don't think Nikola will ever reach that point. Personally, you know, there's a lot that goes on, a lot of drama in this company. And at least since uh, Trevor's departure, Either you know, there's promise, but uh, we'll see how that progresses in the weeks, months, and years to come. Just make sure that to leave you know in the comments below your own input. But at this point, you just dust in the wind, you smoke, there's nothing left in association with him. He just holds shares, that's about it. 
how that's going to progress with him really doesn't matter for the company of Nikola and its future. Nikola, you know, already dismissed him being associated with pretty much any of the company at this point. So it's more or less at this point what you think the company is going to be like without uh, Trevor Milton and without that association and that negativity and the questionable things that they did. And now it's more maybe about the GM's reputation and Gursky's. So I would recommend you guys look and do some research into Gursky, see what you feel in that opinion of him. Might do a video on that coming up here if there's an interest. But the short answer is this is probably the last you're going to really hear about Trevor Milton, at least in regards to Nikola and the company and any decisions that are being made. They already dismissed him having any further association, so that's definitely a plus. And we'll see it from there. Thank you for listening in, guys. Make sure to comment below your own inputs on this. And share this video if you'd like. And I'll see you guys later on. Have a nice day.